Can you get the man with me? I'm here. Yeah, bring him in. He's more. I'll be over the shoulder. He's more interesting to me anyway. And Kyle, we have and we have Kyle here as well. That's yes. right. Welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, so, that guy cleaned up for the. For the yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Have we traded beards? <laughs> Yeah, that's correct. All right. Yeah, I'll have to find other ways to exercise, I guess. <laughs> Let's talk about that first. Uh, that first shot. Uh, right now, 1917 is getting a lot of uh, a lot of attention because of the long shot. Hey, you're first. <laughs> That's, that's yeah. right, yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure they were shooting longer than us, so they probably did it before us. <laughs> How many takes did you have to do to get that right? Uh, uh, that scene? 26, 27? Yeah, yeah, a lot of times. Who screwed up most? That would be me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but only because I'm the one who decides who's what's screwed up and what's not screwed up. <laughs> How do you direct from a bike? You don't. Yeah. I mean, no, you just you just pretend like you know what you're doing and hope that it turns out okay. And then go back and, and look at it. So how many takes could you do in a day to get light and the time to we, do we, it? We shot for two days. We were able to do about some like I think like ten takes on the first day and fifteen or something on the second day. Um, but yeah, so what we would do is we would watch the takes on the way back down the hill. We would sit in this trailer, watch the takes, and then we would ride back up and then we'd watch the takes on the way down, just all day. Over and over again. Yeah. She loves me for who I am, and, and I love her for who she is. Uh, I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with her. Kyle, I slept with her. What? What do you mean slept? How did you decide to do that? Uh, whatever was the funniest. That was the right, that, I think that's what the decision really was. That was always like our criteria. It was like, what, what feels, you know, what feels the most honest and what feels the funniest, and then we would choose between those two, and hopefully they were the same. I understand that you did 12 versions of this in a very short period of time, like a month and a half, is that right? Wait, was that? Uh, in the writing. Oh, how many versions of the, uh, the script? Well, we, you mean in terms of the script, the yes, writing? Yes, yes. Uh, we had a short, short window for writing, so we, yeah. only, we wrote the whole thing in two months almost, yeah. just over, so for us it was a, an intensive period of writing yeah. but we knew we were making the movie so we had to move quickly and we would just rehearse we would we would like perform it in an acting class and then and then rewrite and then perform it again and rewrite because we were the actors so it was easy let's talk about really quickly about friendship there are people in your life who you hate but you can't get them out of your life because they're fr you, at the core of your friends for life yeah. is that what you started with here yeah, it's really about it's about those friends that, that that might appear toxic or might actually be toxic, but who you actually need at some times, and, and are, is exactly what what you need in certain situations. Yeah, that was a, that was something we both understood in various uh, different relationships in our life. And people who know you best and know exactly what, right. exactly how to right. how to you know do yeah. what they need to yeah. to get you on the right track or whatever. We'll switch next time. We'll interview you. You say it better. <laughs> By the way, I was a wrestling announcer in my er, in my oh, early days of so That's cool. so I relate. I was like, why do you not have the mic right now? <laughs> That's cool. Step over toe hold, watch what yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's not what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about the claims. Oh okay, yeah, we're gonna talk about the claims. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this film. Your character here, strangely enough, kinda mimics a when I say mimics a little bit, you have that kind of sarcastic why attitude that really comes through very nicely in the movie. Tell, tell me about the, what you thought of what this character should be. I found her when I read her on the page. I mean, Kyle and, and Mike roll a woman who's really strong and, and, and sophisticated and knows what she wants and, and is un, uh, unapologetic about that. And I thought that was really important that we see that on screen and and they really allowed me to run with that and and be unafraid of that and and to really lean into it and not apologize for for her kind of causticness and her dry he's gotta go yeah he's gonna go tomorrow i mean like he's gotta go away like not in our lives but he's my friend but it's also because you were the strong person in that triangle. You were the person who was strong. But did they want to show that a woman was stronger than those two guys? Maybe. I mean, these are very forward-thinking men. They're, they're very forward-thinking men. And they do admit their, you know, their, their weaknesses. And, and there are ways in which Marissa is definitely not strong, you know. And, 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 and I hope that that texture comes through, too, and we kind of all trade places. And that's what's kind of fun about this, you know 
triangle. I, speaking of that triangle, I love the fact you get little bits and pieces of your backstory. You were the bad girl in high school. Right. Yeah. yeah. And you know, and Kyle's parents, you know, but, you know, family doesn't doesn't approve of you either. And then yeah. Marissa's trying to trying to you know make up for that. She's trying to you know make her way and, and have people like her because I think she's pretty aware that people don't like her. Um, so she's trying really hard and she's and she's vulnerable. I think I think there's a vulnerability there. But even though she has a vulnerability, she really doesn't care what they think. No, and I think that's great. And I think we need to like have those women on on the screen. I don't necessarily feel that way in my life. So I was pretty inspired by Marissa. <laughs> I was like, all right, go ahead. Fun, fun shoot, huh? Fun oh, shoot. so fun. I mean, we got to work with so many amazing people who are all here. It was, um, everyone worked really, really, really hard. Um, and it wasn't easy, but it was great. Can you think of a particular scene that you just, they, everybody broke down, they started laughing, and you just couldn't go on? Laughing. I mean... The Christmas scene when Mike, it was funny until it wasn't funny, when Mike um, fell into the Christmas tree, and uh, that was funny. And then it was not funny because he actually hurt himself. <laughs> and now I'm laughing, yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. No, he took great safety precautions. You know. Do you want anybody to come away with a particular message in this about friendship? Perseverance. If you really believe in, in the relationship and, and honesty, I think there's a lot of really amazing, beautiful, brutal honesty in this movie. And I think that's really important in communication, which is really painful and difficult. But like, these guys do not shy away from that. And that's rare and, and really cool.